To answer this question, we know that we've got constant volume. We've got two moles of gas. And we've got that the change in temperature is equal to 15 kelvins. So part A asks what W is done by the gas. So this would have the opposite sign to the work done on the gas. But as it's a constant volume process, we know that the work done is zero. Part B asks us how much energy is transferred as heat. So to work this out, we'll need to use Q is equal to NCV delta T. Now it's a monotonic gas, which tells us F is equal to 3. So CV is equal to F over 2R, which is 3 over 2 times 8.314. Solving that on the calculator, we get 12.471. Okay, so Q is equal to 2.00, that's N, times this 12.471, times the change in temperature, which is the 15. Solving that, we end up with 374 joules of heat is added to the system. Part C says, what is the change in internal energy? Well, we can just use the first law. The change in internal energy is equal to the heat added plus the work done on the gas. The work done is zero, so this is just equal to the heat added, which is 374 joules. And then part D says, what is the change in the kinetic energy per molecule? So the change in kinetic energy is the same as the change in internal energy. So we just need to work out how much does the internal energy change per molecule. So we take the internal energy and divide it by the number of molecules. So there's two moles, and each mole has 6.022 times 10 to the 23 molecules, or atoms in this case, in it. So solving that on the calculator, we get 3.11 times 10 to the minus 22 joules per atom.